We set boundaries in a lot of parts of our life, things that we aren't okay with, and the same is with TTRPGs. We have to set boundaries at our tables so that we know what's okay and what isn't okay for our games. Now, this can come in a lot of variety of ways. It can come from maybe somebody's like, I really don't like swearing, and they don't have swearing at their table. Maybe there is something like, we don't like having depictions of harm to children or harm to like animals, like domestic animals, that kind of stuff. So you can have these boundaries set at your tables. When you have boundaries set at your tables, like no PVP or things like that, then there are things that you can do to help reinforce said boundaries. You could use safety tools. Safety tools are there to help you set boundaries as a GM to create a safety net for everyone at the table. So this could be like the red flag, the yellow flag kind of thing like, hey, nope, not okay. We don't have that at our table. We don't describe centipedes crawling into people's eyes. Or you could have like the yellow flag of like, that's fine. I really don't mind the fact that like we're going in and we're taking out all these people and it's kind of like intense with the battle. But could we maybe tone down a bit of like the gory description? Because not everyone is into like super hardcore gore. So you could have these safety tools at the table. There's even ones that help you reflect, like the stars and wishes. After your game, you say stars, like I really loved uh, the shopping thing that we did. The shopkeeper was hilarious. I like more NPCs like that. And wishes, I wish we had a bit more combat. I feel like things have been a slow these past few sessions. So by having these safety tools, it allows you to create boundaries and allows you to reflect. Having boundaries at your game is important because you never know what you're going to get from people. Even people you've known for a long time, they might have been absorbing a bunch of media that might be very different from stuff that you're used to and they think is totally fine because they haven't had any issues like this before. They bring something up and you're like, wow, that was disturbing. I'm not a huge fan of that. Uh, I don't really want that in my game. So then you can help set a boundary for this, right? So don't feel bad that you set boundaries. Don't feel like you shouldn't. Don't feel intimidated or anything like that. Don't let people come at you and say, this is just a game. This is just a fantasy game. It is, but it's a game that uses our imagination and allows us to delve into things and it ends up getting pretty raw. So protect your mental health because those kind of people who tell you that you shouldn't set boundaries, who tell you that you shouldn't use safety tools are the first people that are going to try to do something messed up that'll end up harming you. So. Use safety tools, have boundaries for your games. You'll have a happier game. You'll be able to jump in there knowing with full confidence that nothing's gonna surprise you like that. All right, bye for now.